Hi, welcome back. This is Sanjay Kumar Verma from Unikaksha. So friends, today we are going to discuss how to mount off your Azure Blob Storage on on-premise Linux server, right? Because you know, Blob Storage is a cloud storage. That means it work like that object storage. So where you can put up of your data when you have data in the large amount, right? So where you can store off the data and you can upload the file, you can upload the folder, right? But my concern is that when I have lot of file on my physical server, right? So how would I upload these kind of data, right? So should I upload one by one using of the cloud storage? So the best thing is that you can mount of your cloud storage on your physical server and you can copy it of your entire data in the cloud storage. So I will show you how to do this thing. So let's get started. So you can see this is my Azure portal, right? And uh, I don't have any kind of storage right now. So first of all, when you are going to provision a Azure Blob storage, my dear friend, you have to configure a storage account, right? So currently I have two subscription, one is pay as you go and another is Microsoft Azure one. So I will provision all the resources inside the Microsoft Azure one. So first of all, let me create a resource group. All right. And you can create a resource group. Choose your subscription in which subscription you are going to create off your resource group. Give it a name like uh, stories group you can provision of your group anywhere and then review and create and then click on create my resource group is ready after this we have to create a storage account search storage account click over here right and this is my another storage account for cloud shell so let me create a one more. Choose your subscription. Perfect. Choose your resource group. This is my storage group. Your resource, uh, sorry, storage group name should be unique entire Microsoft Azure, right? Storage unique action. And I'm going to provision of this storage account in front central. Where it is. Europe. This one. Okay. You can take the standard or you can get the premium. If you will get the premium, that means you can get the blog, blog, file share, blog page blob like that but in the standard you can get the local redundancy and any other replication method so you can choose any one but right now i am getting the default one perfect now go ahead right networking make it default make it public endpoint network because i have a public network that's why data protection seven days default for me perfect Review plus create, you can review of your storage account. It's a going to validation successfully pass and then create. Deployment is in the progress, so it will take some time. So please have a patience. Now my storage account is ready. So you can see, go to resources. Okay, so now you can see in this storage account, I can get the blob service, I can get the file service, I can get the queue service and I can get the table service. But my dear friend, I am much more interested in the blob service, right? You can choose the service that means blob, that means container is here. So click over here, blob service. And in this blob, 
you will create a container where you can put up of your data. So right now we don't have any kind of container. So click over here and you can give it a name, any name like is, it's a name is uni kaksha container, right? And this is the public access level you can define, right? As per, otherwise you can change the public access level uh, later when your container is available, right? So I will change the public access level later, correct? So you have to click on create. Yeah, my container is successfully created. Select off your container. And now you can change the public access level. One is private. That means when I have the login and uh, credential of this account, then I am able to access of this, right? One is blog anonymous read access for that means you can read only blobs and a container anonymous. That means read access container and blobs. So right now I'm going to assign the, this one and then click OK. Perfect, right? So my dear friend, when I'm going to select this one, when I want to upload any kind of data or files, I can upload, click over here and you can choose of your files and folder where you have of your files. So let me choose the files, click over here, right? Then in the download folder, I have some file and folders so I can upload mm, which one yeah let me choose of this okay and then click on upload yeah you can see your file is available right let me choose a different file might be this one okay upload yes so when i have the access of this i can upload the data right so if you want to access of this data so as will give you a path copy this path and paste in the browser correct that means my data is reachable so if I want to share this file with my friends, with my colleague and anyone, so I will share this URL with him and he can download the file. He can do anything. Correct. Right. But my dear friend problem is that when I have multiple files, right? When I have a multiple files, then how can I upload? Should I upload all the files one by one manually? We have to upload the file, right? And in the production environment, no one will give you the access of the dashboard of Microsoft Azure, right? Then how would you access, correct? And you have lot of file which are available on your server. And my server is running on physical data center. My server is not running in the cloud, right? That means I want to connect with this storage, blob storage with my physical server, right? So how to mount it? So I have a Linux machine in my VMware. So let me open VMware. Yeah. This is my VMware workstation. The condition is that Internet should be connected with your virtual machine. Correct. So I have so many virtual machine. These virtual machine used by me in different different trainings. So let me do the start of this uni server. Click on this. Virtual machine is going to start. This is CentOS Linux machine and which is available on my physical laptop, right? Now my machine is ready. Let me do the login with the root account. Share the credentials.
perfect my machine is ready let me check the network connectivity okay yeah it's connected now network is going to up let me check now what is the mode of this network i think it's not in the net mode that why it's not going to connect just a second vm settings okay it's in host only mode just a second turn off this network let me attach another ethernet with my machine add one more because when internet is not connected how would you communicate with your azure cloud so this is net because using of the net mode you can communicate with the world now you have two ethernet i hope in this machine yes now network is connected let me do the full size of this and then open the terminal big google.com perfect internet is working if i will hit the ping google.com right it's a working control v okay so now if i will show you df hyphen h t any blob storage is not mounted with my machine right the point is that how would you connect so my dear friend you have to install the file system in this machine right so how would you install so first of all you have to add this repository in your linux box so friends this repository should be reachable and then you can install the binary and library files then you can hit yum repo list yes you can see the repository is successfully added then we have to install yum install blob fuse this is the file system please wait it's going to install the blow fuse file system in your linux box please wait plus y it's a downloading the block view package yes yeah my installation is complete you can verify your package is available or not using of the which blob fuse so my package is available at this location 
so when file system is available in my machine now point is that how would you communicate with your storage right so because your server is available in physical data base or data center and your storage is running in the cloud that means how to communicate between your machine and cloud storage so my dear friend when you want to communicate with your storage so you required of your storage credential right so here what are the things are required first of all your you have to uh, have a storage name storage account and your container name so we have to create a file yeah i am creating a blank file touch fuse uh, underscore connection dot cfg naming con uh, convention dot cfg right file is available right so what to do let me open up this file fuse correct and we have to put up the entry of your storage so these things are required account name right you have to share the account name right what is the name of your account and you have to share the account key that means how will you get and container name so these things are available in my microsoft azure dashboard i will show you so first of all you have to get the storage account name so this is the storage account name storage unique aksha 123 copy this and you have to paste this name right then you require account key how to get the account key again jump on the portal right account key so go down you can see the access key right so now click here show key so by default you will get two key key one and key two right so you can choose any one so i'm going to copy this one right and now because these are my storage credential right and after this we required the container name what is the name of my container correct again so click over here container what is the name of your container unique aksha container copy this name copy this one perfect and save and quit after this you have to change the permission of this file right because now you can see at this time this is world readable anyone can read the credential that means when someone has read the credential that means you can compromise with your security so now we have to change the security perfect ll hyphen d yeah this is the current permission of this file perfect after this you have to create a mount point for mounting so i am creating the mount point in the home directory that is my container right you can see in the root for uh, root directory i have this folder which is my container where it is just a second this one my container perfect so when you want to mount up your blob storage you have to hit this command right this is the file system this is my mount point this is for temporary mounting right and this is the file file where my credentials are there right so now you will hit the enter this is already mounted so no problem when i will hit the df hyphen ht right so you can see i am able to reach of this so when i am going to inside the cd root con my container this is the directory now i have two files one is unicaxa.png and another is 1.png so when i am going to create another file touch sanjay.txt 
right i am creating 10 file correct yeah all files are available so these file automatically should be available inside your blog stories i will show you this is my azure portal just a second we are my container right click over here and now you can see all files are available right so those file you are creating on your server it will be automatically replicate on your blob stories so like this you can mount of your blob stories anywhere you can mount of your blob stories will different cloud you can mount in aws you can mount in gcp you can also mount in windows machine currently i have completed this task on linux machine right so in any case you want to remove the file let me show you that means I want to remove the file number uh, 10 rm rf sanjay dot uh, txt file number 10. Correct. Do the Allen. Okay. It's gone. You can see this file automatically deleted from this. Now, currently it's available. Do the refresh because it's available in the cloud. Now you can see file number 10 has gone. So like this, you can access of your blob stories. So that's why you no need to require any kind of username and password of this portal. So this is the idea behind of this. I hope it will be clear. So thank you so much.